as you might have already seen my most recent shorts, um, I had a water gun. Uh, it was a spider water gun. It kind of looked blue, and uh, it look it just looks like um, it it looks like this. Looks like this. So, I'm just doing a uh, customer review for this. Number one, it's uh, powerful. And it shoots far. Number two, the recharge time. It's about, like, what, 10 seconds? And it's really helpful whenever you need to stay away from any loose dogs. Or if uh, you are really annoyed with someone, you could just shoot them. But... I'm not here to talk about that. I'm not here to talk about the review. So, uh, you might wonder, what is the quality of the Spyro 2? Well, I'm here to tell you. It's very good quality. Not that it, it mean it leaks, but that's uh, the only thing uh, bad about it. Plus, uh, it's uh, very accurate. It's just amazing. So accurate. Number two, is it fully uh, submergible? No, it is not. It has a max submersion depth that you need to follow right there. And you kind of have to keep it in uh, clean waters. I mean, you could fill it with pool water. It works with pool water. Uh, with chlorine in it, like dissolved chlorine. So... And it still works. Number two, can it break? Yes, it can break. But uh, you are not supposed to uh, uh, take the Spyro 2 apart because it is very challenging to, you know, put it back. And finally, uh, how long does it take to charge? Um, it takes about... Uh, what, three or four hours to charge? Maybe five, six hours to charge to 100%, but that, the battery lasts a long time. So if you um, ever want to have a long water fight, the Spyro 2 is definitely your choice. You just have to wait like three or four hours to get it into action. But trust me, the spider battery life is long. So that's all for today. Um, hopefully this uh, makes something good about it. And hopefully um, Spyro would send us the Spyro 3. So uh, we could, um, you know, uh, do the difference between Spyro 2 and Spyro 3. Peace.